Welcome back to another episode in the final part of this Man City Road to 46 and 0 in League 2. This is the last part where last episode we started at 22 games. We finished it with 34 games. We have won 12 games. We have won 34 games in a row. We have only conceded 5 goals so far this, se score this season while scoring an outrageous 113 goals. We have 12 games left to go in the season. We have already won the league. It's already wrapped up and done there. We have just reached a 100 point mark as well. We are simply playing to complete the challenge now and score as many goals as we can. Concede as few goals as possible. And the first game up is against Salford City who are currently on 53 points, which might not seem like a lot, but it is actually a decent amount. And if I weren't here, they would be up in that fifth, sixth, which they probably are currently sixth, actually, aren't they? They're seventh. They would be up in towards a playoff spot. They already are in a playoff spot. They would be up even a little bit further. But obviously, we're here. So we are going to go ahead and start this game, and we are going to go ahead and start with playing against them. This is your starting 11. We have been using the majority of the time this starting 11. Kyle Walker has been going down slowly but surely. So Rico Lewis has been slowly but surely creeping back into starting 11. Let's get it off here. Let's leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this series. Let me know if you want me to do this with another team. Maybe like Arsenal. Maybe Liverpool. Maybe Real Madrid. Put Real Madrid in League 2. See if they go 46-0. Over the top for Early Holland. He could should control that. He does. He gets in between both defenders as well. The shot is just off target. Phil Foden crossed in for Erling. Davies will clear it. Rico Lewis will try and win it back. He'll find Jack Grealish. Back to Rico Lewis. Out wide to Phil Foden. Phil Foden crossed in. Defended by Tilt. Holland will half win the ball back. Kevin De Bruyne will try and win the ball back. He won't. Kevin De Bruyne now. Kevin De Bruyne from top of the box saved out for the first corner of the game. Kevin De Bruyne, Erling Holland, no. Bernardo Silva, no. It's going to fall all the way out to Rico Lewis. Touch for Rico. Crossing towards the area of the box. Jack Grealish was on the run. Just couldn't find him cleanly from Erling. Still Phil Foden. Still Phil Foden. That shot's blocked. Holland trying to get to the rebound. He will get to the rebound. Holland shot off target. Rico crossed in for Erling, and now it's over hit, and we might be going to have time. Nil-nil, and that's exactly what we're doing. Lackluster first half. Johnston attack, but nothing prevails. Bernardo Silva down to Erling. Into Kevin, and we still can't score. Erling Holland will get it back on the rebound, though. Back into the box for Kevin De Bruyne. And Kevin De Bruyne, open space, shoot, saved. Kept in bounds, no corner. Erling Holland still going. Erling Holland. Early Holland across the face of the net for Bernardo Silva. We had to sweat it, but the goal is finally there. It's 1-0 for Manchester City. And what does Bernardo do to get rewarded? He comes off for Julian Alvarez on a cam. Kevin De Bruyne drops down to center mid. Doku into Kevin. Kevin over to Holland. Holland get the header. Second ball for Alvarez. And out for a corner. Kovacic into Erling Holland, And he'll head it over the bar. Alvarez into Erling. Erling, that's a beautiful run in behind the defender. And that's a 2 0 lead for Manchester City. And that should be game and dusted. Once we get a two goal advantage, I don't see us ever losing that, to be honest. 2 0 lead going in towards the last 10 or so minutes in the game. Over the top for Holland. Erling Holland will make it 3 0 before the end of the game. It's actually a beautiful finish as well. Got underneath the goalkeeper. Come on. And Early Holland is set to pick the record for League 2 goals, which is 52. He's currently at 49. He's projected to get to 65. That's insane. He's a hat trick away from matching the record. And he's four goals away from breaking the record. And he's projected to get to 65 to break the record by 13. Next up is Crew Alexander, and I think we simulate this one. I think the next game I play won't be all the way to Bradford. The game I initially want to play won't be all the way to Bradford. Bradford was the first real challenge that actually made me scared to end the series, or scared that I was going to have to end the series. So Crew Alexander is up next, and we're going to hopefully get there. Maybe Holland gets the record today. And Foden opens up the scoring, a 1-0, six minutes in. And Jack Grealish will make it 2-0 in the 18th minute. 
And Holland's 50th goal of the season comes in the 76th minute. And a good 3-0 win there. Holland is now two goals away from matching the record. And we are now 40, or not 40, we are 36-0. And again, jumping into simulation, this time against Swindon Town FC. And Holland, 51st goal of the season. He's one away from tying the record. And it's only a narrow 1-0 win, but a win nonetheless. And Holland is one goal away from tying the record again. And a couple of players are out on international duty here. Ruben Diaz, Rodrigo, Kevin De Bruyne, and a couple of players on the bench. So we are just going to go ahead and accept the changes because obviously I can't change it because it doesn't let you change it for some reason on that screen. So I don't know who's going to play for Kevin De Bruyne. I'm assuming it's going to be Etrevi and I'm presuming uh, Peroni or maybe Matheus Nunez if he's there. We'll see what happens. Early Holland is on for his competition record. What is the starting 11 looking like? It's Alvarez on at Camas. Mateus Nunez on at center mid. Akanji at center back. Bernardo. Jack Grealish. Early Holland. Offside. Erling. Jack Grealish. Early Holland passed up the record to find Jack Grealish. Unselfishness, and we love it. 1 0 for Manchester City. This kit is so ugly. Alvarez and Alvarez is now in behind. He has Erling Holland running with him. That's a terrible through ball. But back to Alvarez. Now Jack Grealish and Jack Grealish for his second. We'll put it into the back of the net. And it's 2-0 for Manchester City. Wimbledon have some of that. Into Holland and Erling Holland is in behind. Erling Holland cuts in on his left foot. And Erling Holland will find the back of the net. And Erling Holland equals the record for most goals in the League 2 campaign. 52. Gordon, I really want to go episode through without conceding. We've conceded in every single episode. I don't want that to be the case today. As Erling Holland is in behind to break the record now. And Erling Holland to break the record. 53 goals in one season campaign. And he is still going. The broken record is done. It belongs to Erling Holland now. And that is game over. Holland gets the record. It's his most goals in a campaign season for League 2 football. And he is still going. We take down Wimbledon. 4-0 or is it 3-0? 4-0. We go one game closer to that 46-0. And we are back to simulating through some football here against Gillingham now. And Bernardo Silva breaks the deadlock 32 minutes in. It's 1-0 for City. And Jack Grealish will make it 2-0. Kevin DeBorner makes it 3-0. And we go ahead and pick up three more points. This time against Gillingham. Three points, three goals. And jumping into this game here against Sutton United. Where we are looking to extend this to be 40-0. This is a 40-0 game. And Holland, of course, opens the scoring by 1-0 in the sixth minute. And Holland makes it 2-0. And win number 40 of the season. It's a 2-0 win. It's a brace for Holland. He's running away with the record now. And we are officially 40-0. We have six games left to go. And we are going to go ahead and start and play this game against Bradford City at the Etihad. This is the first team the whole entire season that gave me a scare. The nearly end of the series, I believe in part one, maybe the beginning of part two. It was earlier in the season, obviously. It's time to get our get back, even though we won. Obviously, we won. And as early on, has 54, 55 goals. He's definitely I mean, he's a top goal scorer in any league. Cross comes in off the corner. Kevin De Bruyne should be able to clear it now, and he will. Kevin De Bruyne with Phil Foden. I'm just going to take KDB by himself. Kevin De Bruyne, uh, use your pace that you really don't have to get past the defender. And then use your shooting to get past the goalkeeper. End to end for Kevin De Bruyne. 1-0 for Manchester City. Kevin De Bruyne, Erling Holland, no. Bernardo Silva, touch. Took a long time to get the shot off because of the power shot and it's off target. Kevin De Bruyne into the box. Ruben Diaz will get up and Ruben Diaz as John Stones actually. He'll get up and he'll head into the back of the net. 2-0 for Manchester City. Kyle Walker now across the face of the net for Erling. Touch shot at the keeper. Saved. 
Phil Foden in the corner. Holland, header off target. Into Bernardo, Bernardo into Erling, and Erling, Holland! 3-0 for Manchester City. How many times have I said they need four parts? And that is game over. We get our, I, can't, I keep saying like revenge, but it's not really revenge. Because it's not like we lost to them or drew to them. We beat them. We still beat them. This, this, this time around, it was just a lot easier than the first time. So have some of that, Bradford. 3-0 win. And we have a five, four, f five or four games left to go. We don't have very long to go. We are going to have to jump in here. We are 71 minutes in. It's nil-nil. I was not paying attention to this at all. I just didn't hear it. Gold thing, I got worried. Phil Foden. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva will save it at the death. It's 90th minute winner. And Manchester City, perfect record will remain. And it's thanks to the Portuguese and Silva. I thought it was actually going to end there. I really did think it was going to end there. But Bernardo Silva and Manchester City found a way. And it's 1-0. And that surely should be win number 43 of the season. Phil Foden will pick it back up. He'll shoot it. It'll be saved. And that is game over. A 1-0 win. About the closest we have come since, honestly, Bradford in the first game. But we will happily take that. And Early Holland makes it 1-0 in the 31st minute. Early Holland makes it 2-0 in the 60th. And Holland makes it 3-0. A hat-trick for Erling in the 70th minute. And we're going to pick up another one here against Grimsby Town. And Erling Holland is on a tear. It's four for Holland for Manchester City. A 4-0 win for Erling Holland. Not for Manchester City, but for Holland himself. 43 games perfect. Three games left to go in the season. That's actually insane. 43 games left to go. And Allen with the fifth goal in a row to make it this time. 1-0 here against Newport County. Jack Rillish makes it 2-0 in the 52nd minute. And Foden will make it 3-0. The front three have all scored now. And Kevin De Bruyne to make it 4-0. Back-to-back four goal performances here. What a way to end the season off almost. And Holland makes it 5-0. Holland makes it 1-0 in the 20th minute here against Notts County. Second to last game of the season. And Kevin De Bruyne makes it 2-0 in the 26th minute. Holland makes it 3-0. Final game of the season to go a perfect 46 wins out of 46 games. Our goal difference is now better than our goal or point tally, which is actually insane. And as long as we don't concede five goals, we will keep it under that 10 goal limit that I said. If we had conceded 10, I would give a, do a giveaway. And we might go the whole episode this time finally not conceding a goal. We are taking on Mansfield, who are all the way down in 10th. Let's see if we can end this season on a bang. And end the season on a perfect 138 points out of a possible 138 points. Actually insane. We are going with the full strength team as possible. Let's get into it. Let's have a goal fest. It's the final game of the season. Not only will we look to win this game to go a perfect 46-0. We will also play this game. And at the end, no matter what happens, we will have a trophy celebration for us winning League 2 here at Manchester City. We obviously won League 2 at the end of last episode, towards the end of last episode. So within 13, 14 games left to go in the season, we had the, we had the whole entire league wrapped up, which is actually kind of funny. It's kind of hysterical. Kevin De Bruyne now into Phil Foden, and Phil Foden is down the right-hand side, and Phil Foden is going to look to probably pass it to Holland, and it's going to be an own goal. It's 1-0 for Manchester City. Six minutes in. And we have the first goal of the, of the game. And, of course, it's Holland who's celebrating. It's going to count as an own goal, though. It is 100% an own goal, which is fine. Kevin De Bruyne into Erling Holland. Erling Holland now 
out wide to Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish is in behind, and Jack Grealish wants the second of the game, and Jack Grealish will get the second of the game. It's a 2-0 lead for Manchester City, 12 minutes in. Kyle Walker, Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne to end the first half on a high. He's going to look to find Jack Grealish, and you will find Jack Grealish, and that is 3-0 for Manchester City. We are 45 minutes away from completing the challenge to go a perfect 46 for 46. Over the top for Holland. He surely gets there instead of the second defender. Even on the second ball, he will. Can he chip the keeper? No, he chips the net. Into Phil Foden. And Phil Foden now into Erling Holland. 20 minutes left to go. And Erling Holland is in behind. And Erling Holland will get saved and out for a corner. Swan, Ederson with the save, no PK. I thought they were, I honestly thought they were going to get a PK there. They didn't, thankfully. Over the top for Kyle Walker. Last attack of the season, and it's Kyle Walker into the box, except that's not into the box. That is game over, and that is the season done and dusted. We went a perfect 46 for 46. 46 games played, 46 wins. And Manchester City stayed perfect in League 2. Is there going to be a trophy celebration? It looks like they're not going to be a trophy celebration. It looks like we missed out on it probably towards the end of the last episode, the last home game. I thought they would do it on the last home game of the season, but I guess not. They won't do the trophy celebration. They don't want to. The, the league is an embarrassment. They even have Manchester City in it. I mean, they would actually love, the EFL would love Man City and League 2. They just would, especially if they kept all the players like they have on here on this challenge. But there you go, a perfect 46 for 46. That's actually insane. 148 goals for, only five goals conceded. Zero goals conceded in part four, which is this part. 143 goal difference. Going down would have been more calm, Sutton. Newport and Tramay Rovers. I believe they do bottom four right in League 2 as well. I believe so. Wrexham and Stockport go up, which would be Wimbledon going up as well, which actually in kind of saying it. MK Dons misses out on playoffs because we enter the league. That's kind of insane. The season's actually not even over yet. Let's go and check out some season stats here for the squad hub. Obviously, early Holland had a record break of season. 64 goals. Scored in 47 games. He only missed two games in League 2, which were the two games that we are out on international break. Kevin De Bruyne had 22 goals with 23 assists. Jack Grealish 16 and 16. Bernardo 13 and 22. Let's go see who won the Premier League. Since we're obviously not in the Premier League this season, let's go see who won it. And let's go see how badly Forrest Green got thumped. Because Forrest Green did get put into this league. And it's going to go to either Arsenal or Liverpool. Those two are fighting to get out. It goes to the final game day of the season. Just like real life, which is interesting. Liverpool did fall off a little bit, especially after losing. Which now they lost. I'm recording this on the 25th. They lost to... Who did they lose to yesterday? Everton. They lost to Everton. By the time this goes out, the season might actually be over. Thinking about it. The season might be over by the time this video goes out. Where did Forest Green come? Forest Green came in 20th. And in fact, they got two wins. Not bad for them. They got two wins with eight draws against the top 10, the top teams, and 27 losses as expected. That is actually insane. That's going to be the end of this challenge. That's going to be the end of this little mini series. If you want me to do this with another team, I kind of want to see if I can do this with Arsenal. Or maybe even put Barcelona, Real Madrid, or PSG into here. That would be interesting. Let me know in the comments. Or you want me to try and do with Man City going 46-0 in League 1? I doubt it. Honestly, I don't really want to do that. I think I would rather do Arsenal in League 2 and see if I can go perfect 46 for 46. With a different few kicks and twists in the season to not make it kind of how plain and stale it did turn out to be, to be honest. But that's going to be the end of this. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And we'll be back tomorrow for more career mode regular series content. Peace out.